I think that we all should be entering our Nellyville era. Hello and welcome back for another episode of the official Nellyville review of season 15 of RuPaul's Drag Race. Feel free to subscribe, come follow me on all of my other social media, you know, all that fun stuff, right? This week's episode was the Rusical. Now, usually with the Rusicals, it is, it is either a hit or a miss. This is going to be a time that they got it right. Before we get into the episode though, have you guys seen Selena Estites going off on the judge, the hilarious Ross Matthews? So we're, we're going to get into why Selena ended up going off. But I, I just have to say, if you haven't seen Selena on stage just going in on Ross Matthews, um, look it up. And, and let me know what you think, because I, I understand that she was in her feelings. Yeah, spoiler alert, she ends up going home in the end. I um, understand the emotions and all of these things, but girl, Mary, you was a little, you was a little mean, Selena, so I don't, I don't know about you, honey. I don't there was not a mini challenge this week, but I, I think that one could say that the mini challenge is fighting for the role that you want in the rusical. So what was this rusical? It was Wig Loose, a play on Footloose. And, you know, politically speaking, it, it's very interesting that this rusical is, uh, it was a direct reflection of what's going on in the political LGBT uh, plus world, you know, you got to remember these episodes, this season was, the seasons are filmed almost like a year or so months before they air. So the point of this rusical was to highlight the erasure of drag and how it is being threatened and the, the safety of trans people. So of course, RuPaul's Drag Race is meant for entertainment, but every now and then they're gonna hit on some political stuff and boy, boy, the perfect timing of this is, um, wow. You know, this has been something that's been going on in, in the world since before that this was, since before this was filmed, but consider, but considering recently with the, all of these bills being passed to uh, ban drag and stuff, it was just right on time. And I hope that not only were people entertained, but I hope that this sparked a conversation to help figure out what can we do to help. So the girls are sitting on the couch like they do and they start to fight and bicker over what role they would like. Now, most people kind of were like, I want this role, I want that role. It was easy, but of course, we know who ended up arguing over the role, over the lead role. No one other than Lux and Lucy. You know, look, we live for the drama, okay? This is not RuPaul's best friend's race. We want to see the girls fight tooth and nail. <laughs> Initially, Lux ends up winning the lead role, but it, it decides to graciously allow Lucy to take on the little lead role because Lux says, I can kill any role. So if it's that much to you, then baby about me to make it do what it do. Another interesting pick though was Sasha went for the husband role. Sasha tried to put a spin on it, like she chose this role because it really spoke to her and it represented her father and blah, 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 blah. Girl, no, I think that you chose that role because it was a safe role and I, th I think that Sasha feels the pressure. She's a great queen and stuff, but I think that Sasha has been very diplomatic through all of this. I think she's been playing it very safe because all eyes are on her and it has to be an incredible amount of pressure that she's feeling. I mean, we this is an ongoing thing that I've been saying since the beginning of the season. And I'm like, girl, I'm need for you to cut loose, foot loose, wig loose in your boots. The house down boots, you know? So everyone picks their roles after the argument though. So Lucy goes and she's, she's over, she pulls Selena over to the side and Lucy's over here crying saying, I'm just, I'm so tired of them laughing at me, and I just, just, just bibbity boppity boo. Lucy's pouring her heart out to Selena. This is very important to remember later on, okay? They get to the rehearsals, right? Oh, let me tell you who everyone is. So, Anitra is going to play Mama 
Bacon. Lucy, Heaven Bacon. Lux is playing the Christian, which is like a student. He was in uh, boy drag for most of it. Mistress played Preacher Teacher. Sasha played Carl, the husband of Preacher Teacher. And Selena Estides got the role of Tuck, who was also in boy drag along with Lux and Sasha. The girls get to the rehearsal, right? Anitra seems to be struggling with choreography. Mistress is struggling with choreography. Selena seemed like she was picking up okay, but then, okay. This was kind of hilarious. It was shady, but I was like, dang, really? That's embarrassing more than anything. So Lux was wearing this fur coat situation on the main stage during rehearsal. Lux takes her coat off and she has the girls hold it while over on the sides, right? Lux finishes rehearsing and from the sidelines mistress yells out um yeah Lux I have a question why is the security tag still on this coat child the embarrassment and Lux was like I bought it the girl just forgot to take the security tag off girl Lux did you mop that coat no I, I don't I don't think that Lux mopped it look I, I think most people have experienced a time where you bought something, you get home, and you realize that the security tag is still on there. It, it, it could happen, but also, Lux, did you mop the coat? So the rehearsals are over, and it is time for the show. I'm going to be completely honest. This was one of the best, if not the best, rusicals that I've seen. I don't know who they got to write it. I don't know who they got to sing. The girls didn't sing themselves. They lip sync to uh, other performers. I don't know who these singers were. I don't know who the writers were. I don't know. But this is a team that Drag Race needs to keep because they really sat up here and gave. They really sat up here and gave what needed to be gave. The storyline was good. The, the, uh, the choreography was good. And you know what? At least from the edit that I saw, nobody messed up. Every rusical, you have at least one or two girls who, who are stumbling over their words, who are missing their cues, who look nervous, who they're just not serving. So I was very impressed. I mean, even Michelle Visage said this was Broadway, near Broadway level of a musical. Now everyone went on and on about Anitra really standing out and, and oh you knew she was gonna win because she had this heartfelt moment. She she did have some moments. Maybe I need to go back and watch it again, but I didn't I didn't she did great, but I did not gag the way everybody else was gagging. For me, Mistress was really up there and Lux was really up there considering um the smaller role that Lux had, I think was really, but there was no one that, that fell short. Everyone brought their role to life. I was very impressed. Lucy, a lot of times when the girls fight really hard for their role, they ended up, they end up flopping, but no, Lucy was right. She said she saw herself doing that role and she actually, she ate. <laughs> Sasha, uh, I mean, Carl was corny. It was fine. Um, Sasha, but, but really Sasha brought it home when she transformed into girl drag. A kind of a campy performance, but it was, it was really good. And I, I, okay, come on, wig loose. So let's get into the runway, darling. So this week's theme for the runway is everybody say glove. And it was cute. So let's start with Anitra. No, okay, look, it was a cute look, okay? Uh, but compared to the other girls, it just wasn't, it wasn't elevated enough for me. It was a great look. If I seen her at the club, if I seen her in concert, I'd be like, okay, work, honey. But it was just giving like, just, it was a dancer's cos costume. It was like, okay, I'm gonna perform. And then she had like these little laser-like things on her hand, which really didn't translate on camera. Then we go to Lucy. No, girl, no, absolutely no. And it, which is really unfortunate because if Lucy would have had even just in the slightest a stronger runway, she definitely could have won this week. Like she could have won. Lux, now Lux's look was very cute. I liked the nod to the emo, e-girl 
era and then on her cast she had her friends sign it and i think that that wig was the wig that the little remember mistress had the little michelle and kelly puppets i think that was the wig that michelle wore but anyways it, that was really cute i like that her friend signed the cast it was a great look and more than that i love the way she worked it on the wrong way like she just like she delivered it's like lux once said that her biggest inspiration i think her biggest like her most favorite rue girl is naomi smalls and i definitely saw that as she was working it on the runway and you know i just had to pause and say i don't know if i said this before but i've been following lux for some time now when they were just posting on instagram so it is really nice to see lux on RuPaul's Drag Race and, and doing so well. We have Mistress Isabel Brooks. Mistress came in like a ball of sunshine and I loved it. I mean, the look was was great. The proportions, the makeup, the hair, the drills dripping off of the arm, very pageant. I think she's done it before, but it's very, it's very Texas drag. It's very pageant. I have nothing negative to say about this look. I'm here for it. Sasha. Again, everyone gagged except for me. Is this a nice look? Yes. But I think that, I mean, the idea was there. I really did not like the makeup. I think the makeup took me out of it. Um, the hair could have been different, but I'm okay with it. It's not that the look was bad. I, I, I just would have liked, it's, it was missing something for me. I don't know what it was missing, but it was missing something and the silhouette was just boring like you you have this really creative construction of the of a baseball glove and then you give me this very basic cheerleader outfit and then we have selena s titties which once again i'm very has left me very confused on what is she wearing on this runway so baby you did great in the challenge but this runway there was no way you weren't going to end up in the bottom again so this week RuPaul asked the famous question of who do you think should go home? Well, uh, this this is always very interesting. Of course, it's going to lead to people being in their feelings. <laughs> Sasha and Mistress took the pageant route. Mistress named Sasha as the person that should go home because that's her biggest competition. Sasha said that Lux and Lucy should go home because they're doing very well and they both have two wins each, I believe. And then you have Lucy who said that Selena should go home. Remember at the top of the episode, Lucy was sitting here crying on Selena's shoulder. So, is it messy that you were sitting here crying, pouring your heart out, being all kiki and lovey-dovey with someone, only to later say that they deserve to go home? Is that shady? Or is that just being real? Because Selena has been in the bottom, and regardless of our friendship, if we're going by a track record, you should go home. I don't know. I feel like it was a little shady. Because like Selena said, there's people up here that you don't even like, Mr. and Wokes, and name them. Name, name, I don't like her, she needs to go home. I feel like Lucy is scared, at least, uh, probably, so much time has passed, so probably in this moment, probably not, but during the time of filming that, I feel like Lucy is intimidated and scared of Mistress and Lux, and she went, she named somebody that she didn't feel threatened by. That's what... I kind of gathered from it, but you know, think what you want. I think the funniest one was Lux. Lux gave a full dissertation, gave a full speech, and went down the line of each girl, her thoughts, her opinions, her critiques, and then ended with saying that Lucy should be the one to go home. But the, just the, the, the boldness, the confidence, the presentation, Lux is a star, and I will not be told otherwise. And Selena said that Lucy also should go home. And the reason why Selena picked Lucy, obviously, because Lucy said her name. So it only made sense that she would say Lucy. So here we go. Once again, it is lip sync time, and we have Selena and Lucy in the bottom. This could have been one of those episodes where no one was in the bottom. It was a it was a okay lip sync. I was not blown away by either one. 
they they lip sync to Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush, which a lot of people were saying is a difficult song to lip sync. I don't think that it was I don't think that it's difficult. I guess if it doesn't fall under your catalog of what you're lip syncing to, I guess I could see how it could be hard. But I think that's a good lip sync song because there's there's a huge opportunity to emote um, such big emotions. And But also, I just kind of really like that song. So, of course, in the end, we kind of all knew that Selena, this was going to be her day because I believe this is what her fourth time in the bottom. And I mean, not that Lucy blew her out of the water but selena didn't do enough to me to be able to stay selena you had a great run and i would say i would love to see you in all stars but you know i'm gonna be honest that clip that i've seen of you look i know we all have our moments of we speak um before thinking and we speak out of anger and out of hurt feelings but the level on of unprofessionalism that i saw from you on that stage and and it wasn't even like a, a in a catty or shady, you know, drag type of way. It wasn't comedic. You were just you were just being mean. Selena was just being mean, and um, it, it was just a turn off. So I don't know. I feel like that's enough to ruin your chances of being able to come back. I mean, Ross. I, I don't know. Ross just seems like a sweet guy. I mean, I'm sure he's probably not bothered by what Selena said. But then again, he could be. But I don't know, girl. That wasn't a good look. Maybe you can apologize. But I don't see an all-stars in your future. So I hope it was worth it getting on that stage and talking that trash. Baby, that's something that you say to a friend on the phone or say to yourself while you're driving in the car. That, that is not something that you get on stage and say. But that, that that's just me. But, you know. Good luck to you, live and learn, and, um, you know, maybe you'll surprise me and you'll be on All Stars. I don't know. Who am I to say? And, of course, our winner, Anitra, congratulations to you. Really cool. You're down to earth, and I really enjoy your drag. So, congratulations to you. You're still out here dipping it and doing it. And as of right now, my two front winners to win the whole thing are still Lux and Mistress. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Okay, bye.